calm down. So this week, we are speaking over the baptism of fire. The fire will not consume the altar only. But how does a person get baptized with that fire? The fire Elijah called on. It consumed five things. What did it consume? The sacrifice. The wood. It Bumped Amazi, the stone, licked the water, umukungu. and the dust. Mabzibuka. You remember them? The people who were there, did they get consumed? Now we'll talk about the fire that would baptize you. Um, 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 the same fire that burnt the stones and burnt the wood Amazi. and the water Utkikivu. and the and the dust Utkikanigitamu. and also the burnt sacrifice. No, no, no. There has to be the same fire that needs to burn you that needs to burn inside of me. And and you. You. This is a week of fire. Um, the baptism of fire. Are you ready? Are you ready for that baptism of Amen. fire? Amen. 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 We read from Luke 3.16. Luke 3.16. Are we there? Okay. Are we there? Are we there? Don't have your Bible, you can look on the screen. Were you tempted to copy in school? <laughs> Looks like we are all guilty. Sometimes even the smart ones will copy. Oh, Someone who's smart once said, I asked them why they used to copy, and they said, Sometimes I would just need to see the beginning of the answer. And then I remember, you may not be a person that likes to copy, but you do it somehow. Sibzo. Isn't that true? <laughs> okay. I had a difficult teacher. One day. This teacher, anytime we had an exam, he would make me sit with a brother. I didn't know that he wanted me to show the brother something ah, I was doing. That we copy each other. That we copy each other. So I would do my exam but hiding. hiding. Oh yeah. Just Okay, so I was doing my... <laughs> I would do my exam and, you know, make sure that they're not really looking. So then I'm doing my exam. Then the older brother who happened to be the teacher would be passing by and find that the brother has not written anything on the paper. He would look at me and say, you. Then I would be scared. And then he would frighten me and say, I saw in your heart you have a tendency to copy. Do you know why he was doing to me? He would remove five marks from no, my no, marks. So, <laughs> I would put down my paper to complain and as I'm doing that, I believe the brother would be copying me. Anyway. <laughs> so because he wanted to copy too fast before I noticed him, he would even copy my name. 
Ibzo zaba yeyo no kuri mwe bwe murabizi cyangwa bamwe muri mwe mwarabikoze. I believe it happened to you or you may have done it. Nagira ngo dusomire ijambo mu kopere hano mwese rero badafite. All of you please copy Nuko Yohana Abasubiza bose ati Ni koko ngiyeho aho ndaba batirisha amazi. Ariko hazaza undusha iki? Ubushobozi ndetse ntibikwiriye ko nafundura udushumi twinkwetoze. Uwo niwe uzagira ute? Azabatirisha umwuka wera agarukiraho yongere huyiki umuriro vuga ngo umuriro haleluya haleluya Luke 3:16 John answered saying to all indeed I baptize you with water but one mightier than I is coming whose sandals whose sandals strap I'm not worthy to lose he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire amen Ibzako twari ntumwa kane gata rimwe kane gata Let's look at Acts of Apostles 1 5 to 4 to 5 Ibzako twari ntumwa Acts of Apostles Igice cya mbere kane gata Chapter 1 4 to 5 Uyu ni nuko babzanditse This is Luke who wrote Ngo nuko bateraniriza hamwe ninde wabateranije hamwe ni Yesu abategeka kutava Jerusalem ati ahubwo murindire ibyo data yasezeranije ibyo ndababwiye ngo kuko Yohana yabatirishaga amazi ariko mwebweho mu minsi mike muzabatirishwe iki umwuka wera kucya sizu muriro hano anyway and being assembled together with them and who assembled them this is Jesus he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father which he said you have heard from me for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the holy spirit and not many days from now not that here they are not baptized by the fire Ibihe the time biraza. they come to pass Igashira. and they they pass hakazibindi and other times come. Do not get uh, frightened by what comes along. Do not fear by the problems you encounter. There is one who will baptize with water. When their time is gone, another time will come for the one who baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. There is no time that is not replaced by another. Any time when you go through a place always, always know you are going to go through something else and it's about to come. When you come to the night as you continue through the night another time of dawn is coming. Is that clear? So John the Baptist Baptist had his time. He worked hard. Yes, Jesus said, Among those born of a woman, from the time of Abraham, in the time of Abel, in the time of Cain, till the time of John the Baptist, there is no one greater than him. Why did Jesus say this? It's because others saw Jesus in an image. They saw Jesus in a dream. They saw Jesus in the promise. They saw him in Proverbs. They were images that saw Jesus. But John saw Jesus in the face. He was the last prophet in the Old Testament. Testament, in the time of Moses, till then, he's the only one who saw Jesus, and he revealed it to people. To people. He prepared Jesus' way. Jesus says, among those born of a woman, all of them, there is no one greater than John the Baptist, except Adam. Adam was not born by a woman. Anyone from the womb of a woman, from the time of Abel, from the time of Cain, Noah, the people, Noah, Noah, Moses, Moses Abraham, Abraham, Joshua, Joshua Caleb, 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 all those that live, Daniel, he is greater than them. He is greater than all of them. So Jesus told the people that the least among you is greater than him. You know why? John the Baptist did not go through the baptism of the fire. He was never baptized through the fire. The least among you 
is greater than he. That man that is greater than the great prophets in the Old Testament, they were men who went to heaven alive. They never died. They were taken up. How is it possible that Jesus would say that John the Baptist is greater than them? Then he says that you the weakest among you yes. who has received Jesus and gone in his life is greater than John the Baptist. Yohana, because John the Baptist yes. never died. Jesus yes. never yes. He never died. Jesus didn't die for him. He's died on the kingdom that was under the law. But you were born in the kingdom under grace. You are born on the kingdom of the cross. Did you sing? So when you pray Gomana. and you say, God, give me the power of John the Baptist. Fill me the anointing of Elijah. Yes, Jesus will laugh at you. It's like taking your little baby. God, give me the power of this young baby. That is how Jesus sees you. That all of those, Bariavos. all of those, Wewe. you, Wewe. you who is despised, you who is despised, people who Ura insult muruta. you, you're greater than him. Him. If you're greater than John the Baptist, Ura kome. then you're great. Ura kome. Then you're great. Ura kome. You are great. Ura kome. You are great. Ura kome. You are great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Your hallelujah is in the Old Testament. It's not in the New. Amen. It is not that of people that are greater than John the Baptist. Let me tell you about him. The Bible says, He, he will be filled with the Spirit while he's still in his mother's womb. This was John the Baptist. He will be great before the Almighty God. And he will move in the power of Elijah. But that's not a miracle. Those who are of the Old Testament. In the spiritual hierarchy, in the Old Testament, he was above. But in the present hierarchy, you are even greater than he. The Bible says, we died with him. We resurrected with him. And he took us high in his kingdom of the, his this beloved son. You are high above. You don't deserve to live in this earth. So do not define yourself with your living and your circumstances. Mm. Just because, just because you are hungry, just because you failed in something, you failed at your school, you are still great. It does not matter because you are a child of God. Paul said, they call us poor. But yet, we make them rich. They may see you, you don't have a bicycle or a tricycle. You have lots of rent arrears. It does not make you become worthless. No. I'm not, I'm not just encouraging you and giving you morale. This is the truth. This is who you truly are. Gusa, However, there is someone, who, there is the fire that needs to encourage you and move you forward. Ooh. Hallelujah. There is a story I read. 
inkuru yintare of a lion yagiye yagiye guhiga that went to hunt ikuriwe and was uh, pregnant nono igeze mu ruhuri rw'intama when it got to the ship fold it was very pregnant and was not able to take hold or grab a lamb and so it got into labor and had its cub there when it had the cub it had been hurt inside and it died immediately after it died, its carb was a male. It was a male carb. So the sheep surrounded it. There had been a sheep that had a baby as well, a, a lamb as well. So the carb, the lion carb, started to breastfeed the mother sheep. So the lion grew or the cub grew. Fabie, since you never want your story, you can share how intare iri munhama. Can you find the story the the lion among the sheep? No, no, intare. That lion. Intama zita. So it was taken care of by the sheep. Ikura nanas. It grew with them. Ndese. And it started to it started to graze. Because when it grew and became mature, everything there was grazing. So he started to do that. So that lion it grew and became big and it was very big and it was bigger than all the sheep around it. It lived with the sheep. So it became like a brother. So the sheep took the lion as one of their own. But its body and its DNA is a lion. But its environment there is no fierceness of a lion. It learned how to graze like a lion, like a sheep. It is as peaceful and calm like a sheep. Even don't the shepherds would touch it it never knew how to eat people one time when they were in the field there came an older male lion you know that the old lions they would they would when there is a male lion, normally they will fight with another, specifically this one uh, would be older and it would fight with one that has just matured. They need to fight so that they will see which one will stay with the rest of the lions. Yandare, that lion, the old lion, he was in the time of being sent away, but it had not yet been sent away. So it had to prove itself, so it went to look for a prey to hunt. It had to prove itself, so it went to look for a prey to hunt. So, I don't know if it was good or bad, but it came to this flock. 
And then it rolled the moment it got there. And it found another great lion. They was peaceful. It was calm. When the sheep saw this, they all became humble. And then this other lion was creating itself for defense. When the older lion saw it, said, oh, this one will fight me. Instead of fighting this one, mm. so instead of wanting to fight with it, he, he enticed it to come so they would talk. So the other one went to it. He found the old male lion. And then he rolled when he saw him. When he saw him, he saw that they looked alike. They had the same, they had the same hair, the same clothes. So it remembered. He saw the sheep. They don't look alike. But they are, it grew from among them. So the lion taught him how to roll. Then he rolled. It showed him that he is in the wrong place. What was inside that was of a lion came to, it started to look like a lion and it rolled. But it still had affection for the sheep. What he did, he came back and he said bye to them. He said, now I know my home. I have to go back. When the shepherds came, they couldn't find it. They had it roaring from afar. It had found an experienced lion. The older lion is amazing. You are also like a lion that is sleeping in this world of troubles. You are a sleeping lion among the sheep. Yes, they will despise you, they will victimize you, and you always act calm, but you're still a lion. Even if they call us poor. Ariko. However, we have made them rich. This world is blessed to have you. Your family is blessed to have you. Even if they don't invite you to their weddings because you have nothing to offer. But they are giving birth because of your prayers. The reason why they succeed is because of your prayers. However, the time has come when you get baptized in the fire, you will encounter the experience of in the life of And it will change your mindset. You will no longer be the same. Yes, Jesus is in the life of the But he's not everything. Why? We are not yet baptized in the fire. We are not yet baptized in the spirit. When we get baptized in the yes, fire, and the, spirit, the Jesus in us Suruhinja. is not a baby. No. You have received a powerful man. In you there is a powerful man. But he's sleeping like a baby inside. If you want this evening, he may become your warrior. He may become your king. He may become a warrior. And you take away all the you take your fear. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! Jesus! If someone steps on you, tell them, do it, but it's for a short time. 
And remind them that it's just a small moment the Lord has given to them to do it. But they will never do it mm -mm. forever. No. Mm -mm. You happen to be before him or by him and that's why he took advantage of you. But the one in you is great. So John the Baptist told the people they were following him as a multitude. They were a multitude. You've ha you, you're surprised that I baptized you with water. He was very popular. John the Baptist was very famous. They would come from all over, from Samaria, from Perea, and they would come from the desert of Judea to see him. You are great. Where do you get such popularity? Say it now. I just baptize you with water. But in a short while, in a short while, there is one greater than I. And you have him this evening. Greater than the world. He's in you. Greater than this world. He sleeps in you. The Bible says even the, your, your hairs, the roots of your hair, he knows them. He understands the number of the hairs on your head. If there is anything hard, it must be hard and definitely is hard to know the number of the hairs on your head. Have you ever seen anyone count the number of their hair? We are in the digital era, but is there any technology that can count your hair? But a person that cares for you even knows the hairs on your head. Hallelujah. He is greater than I. You think I'm great? No. No. I'm not even worthy to unstrap his sandals. I'm not worthy. No. Have you ever heard him There's a place where he said, I should reduce and he will increase in me. That he will be exalted. And that's true. The way Jesus would be exalted, that is how John the Baptist became less popular. When Jesus began, the, began his ministry, John the Baptist went in prison. He was become, not becoming unpopular. His mission was coming to an end. It was now another season. It was another era. In these times, I am learning and researching on the times and seasons. I am researching and learning seasons and times. We are, we are in an era that is not yet clearly defined. In every aspect of society. I was in uh, Ivory Coast. They had a big conference in a stadium. They began with a pastor's conference. It was two days. Pastors came from different parts of Ivory Coast. After the two days. We went into the stadium. Apostle Rene. Apostle Rene. Rene Kwa. Rene Kwa. We were in Cote d'Ivoire. But it was a little bit chane chane. If it was a branch, we were in Cote d'Ivoire. But we were in Cote d'Ivoire. We were in Cote d'Ivoire. So this pastor, Rene, they had uh, an anniversary, 40 year anniversary. And he has a very big church with many parishes in Ivory Coast. So I was uh, 
key speaker in that stadium in that night uh, on Saturday night Batumira aba 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 churuzi aba aba entrepreneur they they invited entrepreneurs baring hamagana bibi almost 200 in number kugira ngo mbaganirize so that I, I may speak to them ndasenga ndavuga ma so i prayed and said god ndabwirika aba churuzi what am i going to say to these entrepreneurs imana irambwira ngo god told me tuje kure do not go too far. Tell them about the times. The times we are in. And what they need to do in this time. Let me tell you in a summarized form. We are not getting diverging from the Simple. subject. It is the baptism of the fire. But what is transition? But you cannot be baptized in the fire unless you transition from John the Baptist to Jesus. So one of the times I spoke to them about is the fall of the value of the dollar. The dollar, how is it falling? Not that it's gr not a great currency. No. No. In 1974, from around 1970 to 1974, the president at the time was Nixon. Every currency would be valued against two things. It would be valued against the dollar, uh, sorry, against gold and silver. So the value, the value of the dollar, you, uh, the gold you had, would determine how much money you had. So that at that time, Nixon de, 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 or removed the, the reference or the valuation of a dollar against the gold. Why? Because many nations like Switzerland and others had attained much gold. So he looked for something else against which he would value the dollar. Are you interested in this? Even the old people here? <laughs> and the old men? Okay. okay. <laughs> Sometimes we say things. I'm teaching about the changing, understanding the times. Whenever. Because I'm studying the times, anytime I see things changing, I know where the world is headed. The President Nixon at the time had a Secretary of State. The Blinken of today. He was a Jew and he was Kissinger, Henry. Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger. Harry Kissinger. Ari mubantu bakomeye cyane, bari bakomeye anyway icyo gihe. He was among the great men in the US at the time. Bariga. So he got educated. Baravuga toke. And then he said, "Dore nkwe kicyo dukora." This is what we will do. Afata indege Henry Kissinger. He flew Henry Kissinger flew, and he went to Arab nations. Bakora icyo bise ngo ni deal ya petrodollar. They did the petrodollar deal. Petrodollar deal bivuga gute? What is the petrodollar deal? Nukuvuga ngo agaciro ka madorari kagiye kuba kugiciro cha petrole. Niwo batumye petrole ikomera cyane yitwaga petrodollar deal. Nukuvuga ngo amadorari so, 
Urwanda kwa gura petrole ni dorari. Azia ya gura petrole. Isi yose ya guze petrole mwi dorari. Bara visinya. Ariko wa visinyi ya kamina mwitani. So Henry Kissinger went to Arab nations and signed the petrol dollar deal. And this one meant that the dollar was now going to be valued against the oil. And anyone who bought oil, be it in Africa or around the world, will buy it with dollars. We together. That is Henry Kissinger. He was a smart man. He was a genius. He was a Jew. Hanyuma bakora dire barasinya nibigo bya bara nico gye Dubai yahise zamuka za Abu Dhabi za Emirates donc kubera madorari yari sutse ari suka ari suka abarabo barazamuka ico gye And so at the time he signed the the oil uh, petrol oil dollar deal you found that nations like the Emirates Dubai Abu Dhabi they became great nations at the time Anyway I will not dwell too much on what might have caused the war between Iran, Iraq, and Kuwait at the time. In that time, the whole world, every currency in the world was valued against the dollar. Now you will see this anywhere. You will always ask, what is the exchange rate of any currency around the world? It is a petrodollar deal. We are in 2024. And the dollar was 50 years. It's over. So when the Americans went back to the Arab nations, so the Arabs, when the Americans went back to renew the agreement, the Arabs rejected that. And now we find that the dollar is in between. It's very unstable because the deal is no longer in place. Are we together? No, no. Abanya America riko na bahang. Americans are smart. Mereka to ba tangi kohereza ba mane kuba ba ku kugani ra. Bumva ba arabu ba rakome ba fita mazu ba fita nibi indi zakatare magaze ba rabaza muye ba ba tangi ukome ra. Chane chane urufaranga gua ba bitwa dinare gomri kowete ni gua ba shakuza mu. So the Americans are still very smart. They sent spies ahead to see how they can now work with the, doll, uh, the amount in uh, Kuwait. It's called dinari, so that they can also still have leverage. No, no, ab ab the Arabs. So they want to make their dinar, uh, their their money strong against the dinari. Bo, tibazongera. So they no longer will value their currency against the dollar, but against the dinari. So they are reading the times. They realize that the, the, the Arabs would bring trouble. So as we speak. Renewable. So you all know very well that what is current now is fighting against, there is news everywhere and there is propaganda to fight the fossil fuels and they want us to go for renewable energy. Do you know what happened? Let me tell you. Uganda is even a petrole, Urundi won a petrole, Ghana won a petrole, Tizikimozi Kuruf, Kukobi Gushi. Unfortunately, we have nations like Uganda, Ghana, Michoke, Kivongova, Nova Vumbuiki, Nova Kivivona. No. Hari Chari Gihechaba Rabu. So these nations that are now. Nimona Vugibi, Ukobi Genda, Kukodani, Yagi, Kwa Ugami, Usimburubun, Ibizabaho. 
kuko tutagifite ba Daniele mwe murahari ba Daniele mugena mubona uko ibihe bigenda bise I'm teaching about the times like in the times of Daniel as kingdoms came past and others came you need to understand the times you have to realize that even if these nations are discovering that there is oil it is no longer worth it's no longer worthy on the market Umukie warukomeye muri Afrika wa mbere the greatest and rich, the wealthiest African man Aliko Dangota, He is Aliko Dangota. He was replaced by Rupert of South Africa. Why? Nigeria yari hagaze kuri petrole none petrole yaraguye. Amafaranga ya Dangota yaguye. Nigeria was best or was leveraged on the oil they possess but it's no longer valuable on the market so he's no longer the wealthiest Ubungu man. amafaranga yabo ama okay. How do you call it? Naira. Ama Naira. The Naira currency has lost value because the Dengota has lost uh, Rupert his place. Place. Rupert has 4 billion US dollars. You need to be yeah, current in news. If Nigeria greater as it is, its currency, the Naira, has fallen, how about other nations? Now imagine mothers here. Those who have mothers. Have you seen a man who has, doesn't have money how they are? When your husband has <laughs> no money. When your husband has no money. When your husband has no money. We have no school fees, we have no food to eat, and this man has no cent in his pocket. He's not going to be happy. It means the I have to prepare you as a church. You may have shrewd husbands in the times to come, so better pray for them. <laughs> when your husband is not happy in the house, that means the Naira currency has gone down. Anyway. So now the Americans, they are wondering, when Putin saw that, what Trump did, he, in the time mm -hmm. in the time of Trump's presidency he foresaw that that was coming and he was becoming trying to be an ally of the Arab nations he could see that this time is coming and they would refuse the deal but, but the world is getting into another era and another system People are going to be baptized with a fire of problems. Those who are looking at money as their God, as wealth as their God. Anyway. So I was speaking to the entrepreneurs about that topic and how the church can come out of such times to come. But what I can tell you, we are not, you are protected as a church. The church, fear not. We are not, you are protected as Hey, we, we are not alive and doing well just because we have money. No, we are alive because we have the Lion of Judah alive in us. I'm just speaking only, or I spoke of only economy and economic shift. But there is a shift in education. There is a shift in political leadership. And so we need to be aware. The church. We are going through a shift as a church. John told us, in my time, you will work with water. But in his time, you will work with fire. 
Every person has their own system. Even this system coming to the world has its own way. Now, it's the same people going through the different systems. So John prepared the people. He said, I baptize you. Don't think I'm great. Don't think I'm popular. No. Because one greater than I is coming. He is coming. He is coming. I can see him. This man is great. I cannot lose the straps of his sandals. And he too can baptize. How I'm different from him. I will put you in the river. And I baptize you with the water in the swimming pool. But he will not put you in the water. The things that will baptize you will come from heaven. He will come from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church of God. This is the time when all these things that will come need to find us filled with the Holy Spirit. You should be great. You know who you are. Are you are a lion. You need to go back to the jungle. You are not born to live among the sheep. Oh, yeah. No. Uh -uh. No. Yes, Praise Jesus. Just a Isaiah. Just Isaiah. Good. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8 to 9. Uh, verse 6 to, to 8. Araguruka. Aza ahondi. Yarafitiki. Yarafita mazi. Mm-mm. No, no, you're after Gachuma Karima Mas. You're a fitiki Ikara Rimezagut. Eh? Toki Jari Mumuri. Ah, you're a fitikara Bijak Yakuje Urugarama Kugichan Niro. Yes, it was a fit. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. Arikozai. Wa do tui kiri abe nshia no moro rusengero mana. Wa muserafi. Wa jeri mwe kuisi uagen da garuka. Gwe no muri zayo. Nguari inkoza. Kumunwa. Okay. <laughs> Kumunwa gukirani gwa kwawe kugukuweho ibyaha byawe biratwikiriwe And he touched my mouth with it and said behold this has touched your lips your iniquity is taken away and your sin is purged Numva ijwi ry'umwami imana riti ndatumande Ninde watugendera maze ndavuga nti Uh Ninchi Barije Utuma. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And he and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. Amen. 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 Ubundu Murilo Murikigich ah. Nishushoyo kwe ranigi kore shogisukura. The fire in this part shows a symbol of holiness and an agent of purification. Now, 
If God wanted to purify something and it's something that would not be consumed, he would take it through the fire. Numbers 31, 23. Numbers 31, 23. Everything that can endure fire, let's say gold, silver, you shall put through the fire and it shall be clean and it shall be purified with the water of purification. But all that cannot endure fire, let's say the wood, the, the grass, you shall put through the water. Malachi 3 2. Ngumuriro umuchuzi. Hakasani kikandi. Nisabune umumeshi. But who can endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears? For he, he is like the refiner's fire and like the launderer's soap. Gatatu. Ngokanda okay. zichara. Kuchuri feza. Aka itunganya. Aka imara mwiki. Inhamba. Le rezudi. Donke inhamba ni... He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. In other words, remove all the residues. He will purify the sons of Levi and purge them as, as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. Nguko muri rusanzwe utwika imyanda niko no muri no muri wo mwijuru ukuraho imyanda y'icyaha uhereye ku minwa yacu kagera ku muntu wese As earthly fire burns away external impurity so the heavenly fire burns away the defilement of sin from Deka, from the lips but through them with the whole man Reka mbabwirira ijambo ritangaje Let me tell you this amazing Yesaya yabonye ndi Who did Isaiah see Ninde wa manu wazanyikara Who brought the call Umu, umu he was a seraphim. You know how a seraphim looks like. Do you know how they look like? They are covered in their face. They are covered on their feet. And then they have wings that they fly with. You don't necessarily see their face. But how do you recognize them? In the language that this word originates, verbe, verbe, it's a verb. the Saraf. verb for seraphim is seraph. Saraf. Saraf. Sinereshef. Saraf. 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 It means to burn. Ariko ijambo noun. But the noun iyo ivuye very benik mu kinyarwanda buje ishinga no gutwika naho ijambo nyine ni ijambo noun the verb is to burn and the noun abashobora kureba neza if you can see this murabona iya mbere you see the first hebrew harakano kameze nka kari ya kameze nka ka sibyo iri ya niyo se that is se kari ya kanyuguti ko hejuru when it comes over here, it becomes she. There is like a T below. It is a. So the, the dash. It is a quick a. Saraf. Saraf. But if there are double T's, it's a rough. When I put 
I put a dot. It is not faith. Sarape. It's sarafe. Dero ijambo le nom. The noun sarafe. Sarafe. Ninzo kitquik. Is a fiery serpent. That is what it means. Aba maraika aba sarafi bara saninzoka. Seraphims look like serpents. Niyo mavu bari yewe ninzoka mu butayu imana yabwiye Musa ngo gire gute. Zanzoka so that's why when they were beaten by the serpents in the desert, what did God tell them? Moses told uh, them to look up at the serpents. Okay. When a snake is about Akarim. to bite, what does it use? Umunuwa. It uses Akarim. its mouth. Ururimi. It uses its tongue. And it's the one that will Nicho kill many. Museraf. That is why the seraphim brought a call and put it on the mouth of Isaiah. Where there is life and death. Where, where there is death and life. Where you despise people. When someone opens their mouth and says you are foolish, you feel it inside of you. Many have been told bad words from their mouth and people told them that they were not worthy and that's the image they see themselves in. The Bible says, C'est de l'abondance du cœur que la bouche parle. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Johanna. So John, I'll just baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with a fire. He will consume everything of you. I will come out. You will be meant to witness. When the angel passed the call, a voice came from heaven, who shall I send? Baptism of fire goes with a mission. When God baptizes you with fire, you you, you, you get into the mission of serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People who have the zeal to evangelize, passion. they have passion to evangelize. It is those that the fire still burns inside. They, they, dream, they dream evangelizing In them is a fire that does not make them see see. nothing in their mouth. It is the word of life. It is the word of life. The power of God. In his hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have lost the passion to evangelize, it means there is no longer fire in you. Nigute. How is it? That you move, how is it that you are in the company of unbelievers and you never evangelize to them, but rather keep it a secret? There is no more fire inside of you. That's how Paul was asking that what kind of baptism did you receive? If you receive the baptism of John the Baptist, yes, it's water and that is why the way you behave, you behave the way you do. But if you have the baptism of fire from the Lord Jesus, you can't be quiet even if they have to be against you. Hallelujah! 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 <laughs> The voice came, who shall I send? Who will I send? God will never come from heaven and work himself. He will use you. God will not evangelize himself. He needs to use you. He will not come and speak with a voice in the heavens. No, he will use your mouth. 
The person you'll evangelize to, God has given you all the tools you need to speak to them. However you are, however you think you are mad, God has given you the ability and all you need to evangelize. Yes, Praise God. We need to walk with the fire. The baptism of the fire. The baptism of the fire. You can't sleep without praying. You can eat without praying. You not walk with somebody and never tell them who you are. You won't work. You will not work. You will not work. It will not work. I went to evangelize in China. But they told me don't say that you are a Christian and a believer. The uh, Chinese believers we began with, they didn't know so in China most of the apartments have access control it's a gated community so whenever you come they need to check you and know who you are and where you're going so first day we went we got in we spoke to them that I'm a businessman in the kingdom of God. <laughs> Jesus said, I'm about my father's business. So I came the second time, the third time. The security man said, you man, who are you? And I realized, I told him, I'm an evangelist. I forgot. You know why I forgot? Because it's not true. I'm not a businessman. The Chinese lady I was with just closed her eyes, scared. By then, I had no idea what's going on. Okay. Sit over here. So they went on the walkie talkie. So when he was about to give the information, the woman pulled it out of him. And the man who was standing there. So they speak Chinese to each other. I said, what is happening here? He said, you messed up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then, so this lady speaks now in English. And she told me, go there. So they spoke with the security guy. So he, she told her husband to get some money to give it to the security guy. Then after that, so the security man told me it is prohibited and prohibited in China to speak and evangelize. But even worse, when you're a foreigner, you are indoctrinating the Chinese here. It's prohibited. And I wanted to defend myself and, and say that, oh, you know, I'm a pastor, but the lady said, you messed up already, just leave it, we'll fix it. Then the security man said, you can go. But this is your last chance. The last day you ever come here. Indeed, it was my last day. What they did, they showed us a camera. When I was praying over the people, 
They could see uh, they had surveillance of everything inside the apartment. But they gave them <laughs> <laughs> they gave them a bribe and they had to be quiet. They never reported us. What had happened is that I would have been imprisoned uh, badly. I would have been greatly imprisoned after some time because our underground church became great. It became great. It became great. So they had to seek after the Christians. They knew their names. God blessed us and helped us. Among them who are being sought to be imprisoned, the American embassy uh, helped them to flee the country. Then they were delivered that way. Even if it's that way, I will not give you details because you might say a lot. I may tell you and then you tell others. Even those online. <laughs> anyway. Even God is still at work today. There are great things. I was with Ruth and Boaz and Obed. They are now in, uh, in the U.S. We, I asked her. I asked her the situation. How is it? Uh, in other words, she's not able to communicate with them. But there is a way they go through others to communicate. And she says they have spread the gospel in many provinces. There is a silent fire burning. There is a silent burning fire that is inside underground in China. The statistics show in 2025 China, the statistics, the statistics show that uh, in China will have uh, 20, 2015, 20, 2025, we have a 65 million. We will have 65 million believers or Christians. And they will be filled with fire. We will be filled with fire. Recently, we were in a conference with Joseph Matera and one of those in China. What was their request? They say, don't. Amen. So they say, don't pray for us that the persecution stops. No, pray for us that it continues so that we can continue to spread the fire silently. The more they get persecuted is when they get closer to their God. So be ready to be filled or baptized the Holy Spirit. It will bring you closer to your God. You will seek God more. In you, you will testify of God. Amen. 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 Are you ready to be baptized in the fire? Please stand up for prayer. Almighty, great and powerful God, we thank you this evening that you're baptizing your children in fire. They will become men and women who will testify and evangelize in power, in ability, in miracles, in signs. We praise Jesus. Use your children. Use them, God. In this time of starvation. In these difficult moments. 
In this time when the world is getting into trouble times, let your fire be at work in them. Change their history and let them evangelize. Let them evangelize in an unconventional way. Because the time is now. The times are changing. The world is coming into another shift. May you baptize us, God, in your fire. The time of John the Baptist is gone. We are in the time of fire. So baptize us, Lord, in the power of fire, in the miracles of God. Your miracle, your fire, your fire. Hallelujah. Repeat and say, Lord Jesus, baptize me with your fire. I'm ready to serve you. Nyeza. Purify me. Purify my tongue. Purify my mouth. I'm ready to serve you in this time. Open the gates. Open my gates that I may evangelize in this time. Use me that I will do and be about your business. The, biz the kingdom business. That I will serve you in this time. Yes. Lord Jesus, I'm ready to be used by you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The peace of Jesus, the blessing of Jesus, the power of heaven go with you. May God strengthen you and support you and support you in all the projects you are doing. Go with the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.